I love goots. God, that crystal's freaking massive, dude. See the Imperial Court. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sam Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. And the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your highness, please. He has to worry about his kingdom. The Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them... Hey, what's up, Paris? Slaughtered. What's up with Red Guy's beaver hair? Ah, he's just got beaver hair. That's the hairstyle we went with, man. Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <gasps> Fork tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. He can't. Unfortunately, he can't, Pika. He has too much honor. No matter how much she wrongs him, he won't kill her because he has honor. He He's loyal to his father. Just like he told Joshua, for better or for worse, his father, his father isn't you know, acting unjust. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. 
My family oh no, I get that, Pika. Much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. His people are dying and the king is doing a shit job. Well, unfortunately. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. Their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella, and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. Yep, that's what I thought. This is gonna be one hell of a way to finish the stream today. This is my favorite chapter of this game. This is my favorite chapter of this game. Oh, just wait, Pika. Just wait. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. They're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty. And half the market stores, too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. Imagine you just made this long trek just to get into the crystalline dominion to be able to live and everything and then all of a sudden this crap happens the day you get there what's happening i don't know Vogel. Prepare for battle. <laughs> 
Fire in the sky. This is the chapter I love. The city's on fire. The Shogun's is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Uh, where's, where is my way down? Oh, Stuffy, just wait. Just wait. Uh, you'll see, Pika. You'll see. Those were Imperial Dragoons. Since Dion has essentially, you know, sentenced Anna, uh, Annabella and her son to death it's kind of causing all these issues now what in the hell is going so on? now they have to deal with the Dalmechians attacking on the outside and now they also have to deal with the rebellion on the inside but first we find goods I would move just hope he's all right Hi guys. Nope, not gonna identify myself. Hey look guys, I have Bahamut abilities. How about that? Unfortunately, the city sucks because of Annabella. Not because of anything Dion did. It's because of the Emperor choosing Annabella to be basically his concubine. And it essentially is turning the entire nation against him. Goodbye. Come here. Oh, hi, Goonie. Try, homie. I think I'm actually—I was actually still hitting him a bit. needed one hit on him. Nice level four is that in Zook in there? Have a level 
three. And I'll take this. Goodbye, sir. There's no doubt about it. They're dragoons. What is this then? Oh, sweet. Did I just actually get enough from doing that in order to get a... Uh... By 10. Let's go. We got Dancing Steel again. Goodbye, Gungnir. Dancing Steel is back, baby. Does the same damage, but does a lot more, and it fills a lot more. You know, if you needed some form of combat in this game, but why are we fighting Dragoons and not the other Imperial Soul? Because it's their city. That's why. It's their city. They're trying to protect their own city. Hello, crab. Stay down. Love how I kicked him around the corner. No potions would be nice. Oh then. Lovely little uh depository. What of the men and women in the market district? The evacuation is complete Good. Yeah, unfortunately the dragoons are basically gonna attack anyone right now that they deem there it is. possibly responsible the for the attacks. Right. Let's go. So anyone that they don't recognize as dragoons, they're going to attack. Here's a potion. Thank you. And pull the lava, Crunk. A good lift. The normal guys and has its focus on nothing but the Davis now. Take this, buddy. Sit, boy. There we go. Beautiful. Heaven's loud. That's why I like Dancing Steel. And all before he gets unstaggered. Goodbye. I'll take that. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I feel like this could be so much simpler, easier if Joshua Dion. Well, technically, Joshua and Clive have not been completely reunited yet. Like, Joshua knows, obviously, that Clive is alive, but Clive has only seen, like, Wings of the Phoenix, so that's his only indication that his brother is actually alive. Go! 
joint. Goodbye. Oh, hi, boys. Want to fight? Oh, oh, you're here. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deal with you too. All right. Holy wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! I gotta deal with two. Oh, son of a biatch! All right. All right. All right. I, I see both of y'all. Okay, this dude is literally just following me around the map. Take that. Alright, you know what? Screw this. Come here. God, dealing with like the ultimate range guy and the ultimate freaking physical guy at the same time is obnoxious. Oh, this is obnoxious. I'm able to hit both of them same time with this. get this off. Oh, yeah, and they're extremely tanky, too. Broke one. Oh, my God. Seriously, bro? Come on. He's gone. Had to waste both of my elixirs. I realistically don't have any kind of healing now. Almost. No, you can get down. Dancing Steel. Still alive, but Heaven's Cloud will knock you out. There we go. <sighs> that was obnoxious as all hell. Like, literally, a dude that smacks really hard with a hammer, and then a dude that just hits really hard with range. That's. That was annoying as all get out. I wish they would have changed the chest to actually drop more potions and everything. In New Game Plus. It's like I have five potions and one high potion now. And I, I know of one mid-boss fight I still have to go through. There's a high, thankfully. Stop in the name of his highness. See, I would have been okay if, uh, until you guys said his emperor. Not happening. As soon as you guys said Olivier, nope, I was done. Nope. Olivier will not have anyone following him. Getting higher and higher. We're coming. Fires are getting higher. And OP 
open this door. Grab that potion. Thank you kindly. Ah, uh, yes. More peons. And a dragoon. Lovely. Oh, we're going to start with that then. There we go. Nice. Got it off. That's, that's a huge help because that should, with the amount of damage I'll, and, and amount of enemies, I should get full gauge. Which means I can zap and zoop in and get rid of all of the normal peons here. Screw you, Dragoon. Get out of here. How are you correcting literally mid jump? Take this. Piece of crap. Yeah, get out. Dancing Steel. Oh, there's Fenrir. And then there is Judgment Bolt. Zuken. Giga Flare. Ah, oh, he was too far away. are a freaking annoying in this game. They really are. Of course, this room has nothing for me. Okay. Okay. Another potion. That's fine. I'm just going to use that one immediately because I need to get back up full. That which is no healing. Enemies on the red oh, nice. Guys, don't mind me. I'm just gonna use this to get full attack as you can, please. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm not telling you yet. So you, you you're you're making your bed, you're lying in it. Favor raging fist. Okay. I don't you really use any of Titan's abilities. And does this lead me into where I think? I think it does. Yep. Yep. Oh. All right. Let's go. Can you see him anywhere? Come on. 
So much for the bell tower. It must be one of the dragoons' pets. It is a gorgeous dragon, though. Take this. Nope. Nice try, buddy. Oh yeah, it's very pretty, until it tries to eat me. Nope, take this. How? I literally pressed the dodge button. This, you're gonna get this butt whooping. And then I can do this. Zuken. Nice little dose of Giga Flare. And then right into Dancing Steel. Hit you with that too. Get ready to move. There's so many laser beams. Heavenly Host. 
it, boy. I don't think I'm gonna get it off. I don't have enough for Zat and Zuken on this one, unfortunately. But I can still do this. And I can hit Dancing Cloud and probably hit it by the end of it, maybe? If we get lucky? Nothing, but we got it right at the end. And then pop in pulse as we get away from it. There's Dragon Dance. I went the wrong. I went the wrong effing way. Damn. I went the wrong freaking way and it took way too much HP I didn't think it was going to take. Damn. And... Okay, so at least start a need from this point. Alright. this. I missed it. Damn it. There we go. Take that. Heavenly host. Yep. Go ahead. even remotely hit. Damn icon.
that as you can. See where these lines are going first. Come on, man. I don't know how I dodged that, but I'm not going to complain. Just lay down, so that gave me free dancing steel and more than likely heaven cloud, which is nice. I went, I went literally the wrong direction again. I should have been hit by that. Take that. I was so freaking far away. How did I get nailed by that? Safe side. Judgment. Giga. Oh no, Torval and Jin are definitely here. rough against my own brethren. Poor Clive must be freezing his ass off with three ice users flinging ice oh, all over the place. Pretty much. He was all right. Goose, yeah, poor Lizzie. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? The hell is it doing up there? Bahamut!
Mega Flare. Oh no, he's not gonna take the Mother Crystal out. Not at all. Oh, you'll you'll see what happens. Don't do this. We must leave now, Your Grace. I beg of you. He can't. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda. I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Mother Crystal is trying to take power out of Bahamut. In order to essentially vanish. Just to build a portable shield around it. I mean, that's pretty much what Bahamut is, though. Bahamut's always been, like, 75% wing. Eh, kinda. Not Final Fantasy IV Bahamut. Final Fantasy IV Bahamut was, like, 80% body, 20% wing. <laughs> 